Zulu Capone and we're on level 24 of the Bandit Walkthrough for the Shadow Syndicate DEFCON 702 group. A daemon is listening on port 30,002 and will give you the password for Bandit 25 if given the password for Bandit 24 and a secret numeric four digit pin. There's no way to retrieve the pin code except by going through all 10,000 combinations called brute forcing. All right, so we're going to connect on localhost port 30,002, give the bandit level 24 password, and the secret four digit pin. All right, we're already connected here. Uh, let's go to the uh, temp directory. So we can, we're going to have to write a script, and let's call it zoo.sh. And put the shebang in there. And we're going to have to put the level 24 password in here as it's needed. It has to be submitted with each attempt. So let me copy that. Control Shift V to paste it. And then we're going to do like this for each in sequence 0000, zero, zero, zero through 10,000. Do. And we're going to echo the level 24 password. And then we're going to add in the pin code and we are going to pipe that to netcat at localhost on port 30002 and then we're going to send the results of that to a file called temp slash zulu dot txt okay and we're going to uh i'm going to add the pin code in there just so i know which one it was that worked we'll add that into the uh, temp file also I'm not sure if we're going to need that or if it's just going to spit out the password for the next level. And then we'll add, uh, also echo in a blank line after each attempt. And then so we can keep track visually, we're going to echo this to the command line so we know where we're at. And we're done for each in sequence 0 through 10,000. Echo the password, the pin number, pipe that to netcat localhost port 30,002. I'll put those results to zulu.txt. Echo the pin number to zulu.txt. Echo a blank line to zulu.txt echo the pin number to the command line so we know where we're at alright so let's control X Y enter and let's make that executable okay and then we're gonna run it Okay, we're back. We're going to go ahead and check the results now. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to grep for the word correct here. Uh, each incorrect entry gave us the word wrong with an exclamation point. So I'm guessing that the proper one uh, will give us the word correct. Let's see. So we're gonna cat the results zulu.txt. First of all, let's let's take a look at that. 
this is what we have for each each result wrong please enter the correct pin code try again exiting so uh, we got each one all the way up to 10,000 so let's cat that out pipe it to grep and what we want to do we want to not only grep the word correct but we want to grep three lines before correct and three lines after correct and this is uh, what we're grepping correct so that's going to grab three lines before the word correct if it finds it and three lines after the word correct if it finds it so uh, we can have a decent idea what, of what's going on okay there we go correct the password for user bandit is right here and it looks like it was uh, this pin right here okay so go ahead and copy the password and let's move on to the next